รายการต่อไปนี้เป็นรายการสำหรับเด็กผลิตขึ้นเพื่อผู้ชมในวัย 6-12 ปีอาจมีภาพเสียงหรือดนตรีประกอบซึ่งใช้เฉพาะในการเรียนการสอนเท่านั้นอัสสลามุอะลัยกุมอรัฮ์มัตุลลอฮิวบาร์กัตุไฮกายส์ไนท์ทูซีอยู่อีกแล้วในสายนักเรียนอ um, ืม how was your day I think you are all happy and I hope that you stay safe at your home and don't forget to wearing masks and wash your hand with alcohol gel or with soap when you go outside and then let's come to our lesson last week we finish the topic The important factors for plant life, and today we gonna go to into a new topic: the life cycle of flowering plants. The life cycle of flowering plants. So, uh, before we go to the next topic, we will do some review of, about the important factors of plant life. So let's go. Now we gonna start our review. What we have finished last week is about the important factors for plants. The important factors for plants and how many factors are there? Can you tell me? There are four factors. The first one is light, light. And the second one is water, water. And the third one is air, air. And the last one is nutrients. Nutrients. These four factors are important for plants for their growing, for their living, so they can grow up. They they can be uh, the plants that we see in our daily life. If they are like of some of these things, they might not grow well, or sometimes they will die. And what we gonna learn today? Today we gonna learn about the life cycle of flowering plants. The life cycle of flowering plants. Let's see on your book on page fifty eight. Fifty eight. It is about read and think along. You can see that on this page there are three. There are three kids that they are growing some, growing and watering some plants. And they are talking about something. Let me read about it. The girl with the glasses said that, "Can can we grow a marigold from seeds instead of a sapling?" King said, "Of course we can." Another friend said that, "I saw our teacher growing marigolds using seed." So that's mean. When we wanna grow some plants, we can use their seed to. Uh, to grow, we or we can grow some plants from the seed. And the girl with glasses in this circle asks that, "Do you know what a flowering plant is? Do you know what a flowering plant is?" So, can you tell me what is the flowering plants? Flowering plants, flower. What the meaning of flower? Can you tell me? Yeah, here you see. Here it is, flower. Flower. Flower is. Dog mai, นั่นเองค่ะเป็น flower แปลว่าดอกไม้แสดงว่า flowering plants ก็คือดอกพืชที่มีดอกหรือพืชดอกพืชดอกนั่นเองอ่ะ Let's see. There are three vocabularies here. What the first one is seed. Seed. You can see at the picture. This is seed. And next, sapling. Sapling. Here is sapling. Sapling is like ต้นอ่อนต้นต้นอ่อนนะคะต้นอ่อนต้นกล้าของที่เพิ่งงอกมาจากเมล็ดนั่นเอง Okay. So do you think that can we grow some flowering plants with them with their seed? Of course, yes. If they have seeds. And next, on page 59, on page 59, you will see. There are activity. Let's try this. Let's try this. And the direction said that fill in the blanks with the given words. Fill in the blanks with the given words. So there are how many words here? There are four words. 
flower, fruit, seeds, sapling, and there are four pictures: the pictures of something, and the picture of something, and the picture of something, and the picture of something. Uh, why I say like this? Because if I tell you what the picture of it, you can, you will know the quick. Uh, you will know which would we have to put here. So let me see. The first one. The, these pictures are different, right? Because of course they are different things. They are, they can be flower, fruit, seeds, sapling. Okay, let me start with number one. Number one. Can you tell me? Can you tell me what uh what is this? What the picture of it? Is it flower? Is it fruit? Or is it seeds? Or is it sapling? The first picture is the picture of. What? Of fruit. Yes, it is the picture of fruit. This is uh, the picture of fruit. Can you tell me why is it? It is long gong, long gong, or in English, some say that it is southern langsat, but we can call it long gong because it's uh, the name of this fruit. And the next one, picture two, picture number two. You can see the this yellow things. This yellow thing. What is this? Of course, it couldn't be another except flower. Flower. ก็คือเป็นดอกไม้นั่นเองนะคะ Flower. It is yellow. Yellow flower. And then number three. Number three. It is red beans. Red beans. So it is. Seeds, seeds. Because we can use these reds, the we can use these red beans to grow new plants. So it is seeds, seeds. And when we grow some seeds, that seed will grow into saplings. Sapling. ก็คือหลังจากที่เราใช้เมล็ดหล่อเนี่ยนะคะไปปลูกลงดินก็จะเกิดเป็น sapling ขึ้นมาอ่า sapling. A little. A, like a young, very a very very young plants, nah. Huh? So next we gonna do, we gonna see these are flowering plants. Flowering plants, as I told you that it is mean pretty me dog, nah. Huh? And then they are they have different parts. Flowering plants have different part part. As you as you can see that. They have fruit. They have stem. They have fruit. They have flower, and they have leaf. These are parts of flowering plants, and and the important part is flower, flower because it is flowering plants. And do you know that flower are different? Some flowers are colorful. Some flowers have good smell. Some flowers are big, and others are small. However, most flower have nectar. This nectar makes insect to visit the flower, and these insects help pollinate the plants. Let's see these flowers. They are they are rose, water lettuce, and sunflower. Roses is rose is the flower that have good smell and they are colorful, as you can see on the in the sh flowering shop or on the. All around yourself, flowers have many many colors: yellow, orange, white, red, uh, pink. So they are colorful flowers, and they have very good smell. They smell good when you come close to them. And the next one is water lettuce. Water lettuce is in Thai we call jok ne. It is in the water. As it Its name water lettuce. Nah, it will be jok ne. That is in the water. They have a very very small. I mean, they have a small flowers. We can see by our eyes, but we have to like to zoom in to see its flower because it is small. And next, sunflower. Sunflower is a big flower, and they have. Of nectar, so they can attract lots of insects. These insects, uh, bees or butterflies, are important to this flower because it helps them to pollinate the plants. So, 
how they can pollinate the plants we will see later but before we go to that we will see uh, the important parts of flower the important parts of flower that will help the plants to to fertilization so let's see here we go this is the example of flowers and you can see that the flower was cut off at the uh, at the middle to show us and let's we see the first part of the flower is that pistils pistils they make female sex cell they are the deepest part of a flower they make female sex cells they are the deepest part of a flower this is pistils pistil is at the top of the flower they are high at the top of the flower and they are the deep dip they are the deepest part of a flower so nina ha ko kue pen keson tuo mia keson tuo mia okay and next is stamens stamens they make male sex cell they are long and usually the next to the petals they make male sex cell ก็คือ stamens ก็คือถ้าเรียกภาษาไทย it is called caeson ตัวผู้ here is here is it อยู่ตรงนี้นี่เอง they are long and usually next to petals so if you see the flowers you will see that pistils and stamens are together um, next to uh, side by side of them and then the next one is petals petals these colorful parts draw insects to the flower using their good smell they also protect young pollen they are they also protect young pollen petal ก็คือเป็นในส่วนที่เป็นบางบางตรงนี้ที่มีสีสันแตกต่างกันมากมายก็คือจะเป็นภาษาไทยวิเคราะห์กลีบดอกนะคะเป็นกลีบดอกก็จะมีสีสันที่แตกต่างกันไปแล้วแต่ชนิดของดอกไม้ซึ่งสีสันที่สวยงามแล้วก็มีกลิ่นแบบบางทีก็มีกลิ่นเนี่ยเป็นตัวที่ดึงดูดให้มแมลงต่างๆไม่ว่าจะเป็นผึ้งผีเสื้อนะคะมาเพื่อที่จะดูดน้ำหวานการดูดน้ำหวานของมแมลงเหล่านี้มีผลต่อดอกไม้ด้วยเรา we gonna learn about it later okay and the last part of flower is that sepals sepals green sepals cover and protect young flowers from insects they are the outermost part of a flower green sepal as it is as it is stated that sepals ก็คือเป็นกลีบเลี้ยงของดอกไม้หรือกลีบเลี้ยงดอกไม้นะคะก็จะอยู่ในส่วนข้างนอกสุด when the you can see that it is green over here and this outside the outermost part ก็คืออยู่ข้างนอกสุดเลยนะคะเพื่อที่จะปกป้องดอกไม้จากมแมลงต่างๆหรือว่าปกป้องดอกไม้ที่ยังไม่บานเนี่ยจากมแมลงต่างๆเพื่อให้สามารถบานออกมาได้อย่างสวยงาม and we can divide it flowers into two kinds that is perfect flowers Perfect flowers are flowers that have both male and female parts. For example, rose, roses, or and lily, lily. These flowers are the example of perfect flowers that have both female and male parts. And the second kind is that imperfect flowers. It is flowers that have only one parts. One male parts or one female parts. The example is that corn flower and squash flowers. Squash flowers. So, I think we have learned lots today, and I think that's all for today. So next week, next week we will learn how these plants can uh, reproduce reproduce their species and. Today we won't have any work because I will give you time to plant your. I will give you time to continue our 
experiment i mean the last week work that is growing some plants and i have some surprising results about my plants and i will share to you later when i think we are already so that's all for today guys see you next week please stay safe and don't go outside without any uh and stay at your home for your safety so assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh